Hi. Welcome to the very last second of day 18 of National Poetry Month. We appreciate the recommendations that we got, but today we're going with a poem by Lord Byron called, And Thou Art Dead as Young and Fair. And thou art dead as young and fair, as aught of mortal birth, and form so soft and charms so rare, too soon returned to earth. Though earth received them in her bed, and o'er the spot the crowd may tread, in carelessness or mirth, there is an eye which could not book. Brook, a moment on the grave to look. I will not ask where thou liest low, nor gaze upon the spot. Their flowers are weeds that will may grow, so I will hold them not. It is enough for me to prove that what I loved and long must love, like common earth can rot. To me there needs no stone to tell, Tis nothing that I loved so well, yet did I love thee to the last as fervently as so, who didst not change through all the past and canst not alter now. The love where death has set his seal, nor age can chill, nor rival steal, nor falsehood disavow, and what were worse thou canst not see, or wrong or change or fault in me. The better days of life were ours, the worst can be but mine. The sun that cheers the storm that lowers shall never more be thine. The silence of that dreamless sleep I envy now too much to weep, nor need I to repine that all those charms have passed away. I might have watched through long decay. The flower in ripened bloom unmatched must fall the earliest prey. Thou by no hand ultimately snatched, the leaves must drop away, and yet it were a greater grief to watch it withering leaf by leaf than see it plucked today. Since earthly eye but ill can bear to trace the change to foul from fair, I know not if I could have borne to see thy beauties fade. The night that followed such a morn had worn a deeper shade. The day without a cloud hath passed, and thou wert lovely to the last, extinguished, not decayed, as stars that shoot along the sky, shine brightest as they fall from high. As once I wept, if I could weep, my tears might well be shed, to think I was not near to keep one vigil o'er the bed. To gaze how fondly on thy face, to fold thee in a faint embrace, uphold thy drooping head, and show that love, however vain, nor thou now I can feel again, yet how much less it were to gain. Thou hast left me free, the loveliest thing that still remain, then thus remember thee, the all of thine that cannot die, through dark and dread eternity, returns again to me, and more thy buried love endears than aught except in living years.